heading to court today. The man accused of kidnapping and killing his ex-girlfriend is facing a judge on unrelated charges. Jameer Miller facing several gun charges. Let's get out to Priya Mann this morning with the latest on that situation. Priya? Jason Ronda, good morning. These are 14 drugs and weapons charges unrelated to the kidnapping and murder case of Patrice Wilson. And today, Jameer Miller will face a judge for a probable cause hearing. Jameer Miller will appear before a judge today charged with 14 weapons and drug charges. The case was handled by Michigan State Police in Taylor. The charges stem from an incident on February 23rd of this year. The 36 year old was given a $1 million bond. We asked defense attorney Neil Rockhind how this could affect Miller's alleged involvement in the kidnapping and murder of his ex-girlfriend Patrice Wilson. If they can trace the guns or ammunition, from those cases can all help police and prosecutors lead to other leads and other potential cases. The drugs and weapons charges came days after a manhunt for Miller, wanted in connection with the kidnapping and murder of his ex-girlfriend Patrice Wilson. Wilson, a nurse at Detroit Receiving Hospital, was heading to her car after work early on a weekend morning. Police say Miller was allegedly wearing a blonde wig and forced the woman in her car and drove away. Later that night, Patrice Wilson was found dead in her SUV parked in her Novi apartment complex. Miller turned himself in the next afternoon. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office is reviewing the case. At this time, Miller has not been charged in Wilson's death. The prosecutors have, the, the, in many cases, have to make a relatively quick decision because they believe there's a dangerous person who needs to be off the street. In this case, they have the luxury, we'll say, of not having to rush into that decision. And we continue to check with the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office about charges in the murder of Patrice Wilson. Today, Miller will appear before a judge at 21st District Court, that probable cause hearing happening just before 9 today, and we will be there reporting live this morning. I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.